All right, all right. Hey everybody, so here I have only one rule here, it's animated, I'll comment on it. And I might have found it, ladies and gents. I might have found one of the worst cartoons ever. Oh wait, don't close the video yet. I have a lot more to say about this thing. So, let's not dance around the obvious anymore. We're not gonna dodge this issue. It's time to take a look at my first Patreon sponsored review with a look at Garbage Pail Kids. Please just kill me now. Garbage Pail Kids is a Canadian 2D animated series produced by Wang Film Productions that is based off the trading card game of the same name created by Topps Company and Art Spiegelman of the Mao's graphic novel fame. The series was set to air on CBS television in 1987, with a total of 13 episodes, but was abruptly pulled from airing in the US mere days before the initial air date, citing protests from various parental and religious groups who objected to the supposed depiction of the handicapped and other quote-unquote controversial topics. However, the series did air in its entirety in various places throughout Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. Oh god, did I just hear voice over me say what on-screen me knows I already said? This thing is Canadian in origin? As a Canadian, I must apologize on their behalf and remind you that Canada has given you many nifty things over the years too, such as insulin, and basketball, and poutines, and zippers, <gasps> and Justin B. Oh, fuck this. Let's just get on with it. This is Garbage Pail Kids, everyone. I know I said this exact same thing last week in my Yellow Submarine review, but I must ask this again. <laughs> Though last time I was being a bit cheeky and facetious for comedic effect, this time I actually fucking mean it. If I had to force myself under pain of death to describe the plot of this wretch to you, it'd be this. It's like Animaniacs. But everyone involved in the production were lobotomized crystal meth addicts with dementia. The first half of the episodes are really shit-sucking movie parodies of things like Indiana Jones, King Kong, Superman, and other such copyrighted properties that are a billion times more enjoyable than this fecal squirt. The second half of the episodes are stories involving the titular Garbage Pail Kids, who are supposed to be gross outcasts, but who go around helping people with stupid problems involving time travel, nursery rhymes, ostriches, and stealing the face of Abraham Lincoln from Mount Rushmore. The only reason I compare this colonic abscess to something good like Animaniacs is because of its structure, where it presents two main... uh... Stories? Yeah, we'll go with that. As well as a couple different short interludes, such as Garbage Pail Groaners, where they tell a horrendous non-joke. Would We Lie to You? Where they lie right into your fucking face, you dicks. Garbage Pail Awards, which give an award to some person we've never seen or heard of before. And lastly, these painfully awkward and unfunny commercials which advertise fake products to children to make their first world lives a little less aggravating, but a million times more stupid. <laughs> Funny how I could have just said, there's no plot, and moved on with my sad, pathetic life. But consider this a PSA, everyone. I'm gonna pull on my hefty latex gloves here, and I'm going to dig into this pile of smegma jizzcock for all of you to- I don't want you to suffer, you know? This is my burden to bear. Aren't I such a nice guy? As if this series could handle anything as complicated as a CHARACTER. I mean, it can't even handle not being banned by oversensitive parents and religious groups who don't even know what they're talking about 90% of the time. But I digress. Yeah, I'm serious. There aren't any characters at all in this series. Oh sure, there's the five main Garbage Pail Kids, Split Kit, a boy with split personalities, one rowdy and one normal, Terry Cloth, a girl whose face is on her hand for some reason, Clogged Duane, a boy made of some... liquid. That totally doesn't look like diarrhea because of his skin color, no, not at all. 
as well as Elliot Mess, a boy who can switch his extremities around for no discernible reason, and lastly Patty Putty, a girl whose body is all rubbery and shit. I staunchly maintain the creed that just because you give somebody a name and screen time, that doesn't make them an actual character. A character is someone who has an arc, a conflict, a dilemma, or even just a single distinct thought in their heads. But these garbage pail cunts don't even come close to having anything resembling an arc, conflict, dilemma, or a singular thought run through their brains. So how can you possibly call them characters? They exist to sell cards, I guess, and that's it. I wouldn't really know, I was never a fan of those insipid, disgusting things. But really, who cares? I certainly don't. But to be completely frank, I don't think they're the most annoying people ever to be depicted on screen. But they exist inside this awful abomination of kangaroo splooge, so I do still resent them a whole hell of a lot. God, look at all this crap I've excised from the series and we're not even halfway done yet! What the hell else could be coming? Ah, uh, the good things. A place to get respite from all the terribleness that animation can dump on you. So what does this series have by way of good things? <laughs> well, take this for what you will. Bear in mind that this isn't by any means a compliment, but I feel I should still put it in this section regardless, so here it is. Even at its absolute fucking worst, this series doesn't even come close to the monumental awfulness that is the live-action Garbage Pail Kids movie. I mean, I can at least watch the cartoon series with a glazed, disengaged look on my face, rather than the facade of sheer confusion, terror, and loathing that inevitably comes when you watch that... thing. Wow, that's pretty bad when I don't have even one legitimately nice thing to say about the series or movie I'm reviewing. I mean, technically it has happened before, but there's one thing in particular about this series that makes it so much worse than everything else I've reviewed up to this point. So strap yourselves in, people. Oh, it's only just begun, folks. Originally, I was going to wrangle everything up in a nice, pretty Saul's laundry list of bullshit like I normally do when something is airing more towards the dog shite side of things. But no, you know what? I don't feel like summarizing my thoughts. I'm gonna go on a big tirade and have some fucking fun with it, for God's sakes. So to kick things off, the animation is atrocious and lazy. It may not look so bad, considering I've seen things like Problem Solvers, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Final Fantasy Legend of the Crystals, and fucking Ratatouille, but there's something inherently slothful and cynical about the animation on display here. To me, it comes off as though they didn't give two shollywobbles what the damn thing looked like, so long as the people on the screen resemble the characters on the actual cards just enough so as to make kids buy them. And as such, they wouldn't spend even a penny on the essentials, such as lip syncing, consistent layering, a more varied color palette, or any moving objects in the boring-ass backgrounds. The whole thing just feels so shoddy and indolent that I can barely scrounge up even a single memory of it that has greater clarity than a bucket full of mud, lard, and cheap mothball-reeking Taiwanese animation. It's so damn obvious that the only reason this was created was to peddle those repellent cards that it's honestly sad. Sure, a lot of cartoons in the 80s were made purely to sell merchandise, but at least there was a bit of care and effort put into those, some more than others. Here's just- But here's some important shit to not care about, no, look, there's a garbage pail kid or two you might know from the cards you might want to let you play with- <laughs> <coughs> You know, something along those lines. I mean, come on, even Barbie in A Christmas Carol had the decency to not just be an hour-long commercial for Barbie products. I mean, technically it was riding off of Charles Dickens' coattails to tell a story, but my point still stands. The inherent laziness is really thrown into relief when you notice how they seem to establish that the Garbage Pail Kids are regular kids who turn into their GPK personae, but after two episodes, they just say, fuck it, who cares, and keep them as Garbage Pail Kids for the rest of time. Why? I don't know. How? Again, I refer you to my fuck it, who cares line. 
Everything on display is just the fucking worst. Like the humor, which tries to be self-aware and point out how stupid it's being sometimes, along with a heap and helping of bad puns, awkward references, and pathetic attempts at satire. Like, here. No joke, this is the first line from the first episode of this series. Good morning, children. I am here to tell you about the Garbage Pail Kids show. It is disgusting, obnoxious, and worst of all, gross. I think it's terrible that they would put something like this on TV. How pathetic is that, eh? When the series itself doesn't even want you to watch the series. Again, I'd say they're ripping off Animaniacs extremely poorly, but in all fairness, this series did predate that by about six years. That doesn't make it any less bollocks, though. Maybe I could forgive the vile attempts at comedy if the voice acting was at least decent, but it can't even muster up the energy for that, either. And that's a surprise, considering that some talented names were attached to this, like Tara Strong, Allison Court, and Cree Summer. But they are definitely not bringing their A-game to this gallon of fermented coelacanth turds. Everyone seems like they're half asleep when they deliver their lines, and everybody sounds exactly the same, despite the large-ish cast. But really, what did I expect? I bet the voice actors were paid with a windfall of paper clips, saltine crackers, and wishes of mentally defective children. So their level of not giving a fuckery isn't a surprise in the least. This thing also has an incredibly bizarre structure that jumps around from scene to scene at near light speed, yet is constantly stopping at the most random and jarring moments. Sort of like that roller coaster, the tooth chipper from the Simpsons wow. season 8 episode Bart Carney, with similar results in the pain department. What this means is that real investment in the people and scenarios is about as attainable as drinking an entire root beer float through your anus. At this point, you might notice that I'm being rather crude in this review, more so than I normally am. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because, despite what you may believe, and what it sets out to do, this cartoon is not gross or crude at all. At least if it was nauseatingly disgusting and abhorrently ugly like Mr. Meaty, The Brothers Grunt, or hell, even the live-action Garbage Pail Kids movie, then that'd be something to talk about. But here the gross-out angle is so downplayed, safe, and muted that it serves to frustrate me even more than if it wasn't. It doesn't even have a single low-hanging fruit fart joke to tide you over. So here, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna give you that fart joke. I mean, vomiting your guts out in disgust is more of a reaction than just staring blankly at your screen in complete paralyzed boredom until you snap and go shoot up a deli just to get some semblance of feeling back into your miserable existence. And there it is! That, that, that is it! There it is, right there! Here we have come to the heart of the problem with this thing. As if all the previous points I made weren't enough to make you never watch this cynical putrid anal ejecta cash grab, but I don't think in my entire life have I ever seen a cartoon be so <laughs> The biggest issue I have with its utter tediousness is that you can't even enjoy this shit ironically, like some of the other horrendous cartoons I reviewed, such as Holidays, The Christmas That Almost Didn't Happen, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Underground, or even The Legend of Zelda. So I can't recommend this thing as appealing to experience even if you get ass-blastingly drunk with a couple of close hetero bro friends, yeah, and attempt to have some level of ironic shit-faced enjoyment. It's all just so... well... I think the angry video game nerd put it best. Poo poo. Garbage Pail Kids is a burning landfill of absolute awfulness, pure and simple. It's, to date, the worst cartoon I've ever seen, and it just baffles me that people could be involved in its creation and that they thought that people would like to watch it on DVD. It blows my fucking mind. I am so fucking done with this series that I just want to slip into a hot bath, swallow a whole bunch of pain meds, Place a rusty razor blade on my wrist, and shave my arms because they're kind of hairy. But yeah, this is the fucking worst. I give Garbage Pail Kids... No rating at all, actually. No, it doesn't even deserve a zero. It's worse than zero. It is less than zero. It is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. And no, you know what? I'm putting my foot down. No rating this time. It's that fucking bad. So, Garbage Pail Kids, is it... No, you know what? You know what? No. 
I'm not gonna go into that whole spiel. You know my answer is just gonna be a big fuck no to every question that I normally ask. No, it doesn't deserve that. There's only one conclusion that this fucking abomination deserves. And I think I know what it is. I guess it got what it deserved. Hello there, Saul. I mean, it can't even handle not being banned by religious and fa- <laughs> Jesus. Stumbling over my lines. Jesus. Ugh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Lights are in the way, shit. <laughs> oh, I really hope that turned out well. Want to stay up to date with all the latest Eye of Saul news? You can follow me on Twitter as well as on Facebook at twitter.com slash eyeofsaul299 and facebook.com slash eyeofsaul. I update them every day, so if you want to check out news on the show as well as updates, just follow the links here. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my super ranty Patreon sponsored review of Garbage Pail Kids. I mean, I, I have not watched something that has made me like physically angry like that in quite a while. I mean, Holidays, the Christmas that almost didn't happen in Eight Crazy Nights kind of came close, but no, Garbage Pail definitely takes the cake. It is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen, although I'm sure that won't stay in place forever. Anyway, if you liked the review, I'd appreciate a like and a share of it, as well as a subscription to my channel, because I'd super appreciate that. If you want to check out the previous Saul episodes, you can see the annotations playing on the video right now. Or if you want to check out my various social media sites, you can see my links to my Twitter page, my Facebook page, and my Patreon page. They're on the screen for you, as well as in the <laughs> as well as in the description, is what I'm trying to say. If you have an idea for an animated series or movie you want me to comment on, you can leave me a message in the YouTube comments on any one of my social media sites, or just let me know in any way you can think of to let me know what you want to see, and I'll add it to my list. Okay? Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next week for another series review.